In this problem, a mass um, is attached to a spring, and uh, this mass has an initial velocity. And we're asked to find what is the max amplitude and what is the actual amplitude at time equals to 10 seconds. So the first thing we need to do is we need to draw a free body diagram and um, determine all of the forces that are acting on this um, mass. Uh, so I'm going to draw the mass as a rectangle um, and this is going to include both the um, mass of the plate and also uh, the target and also the mass of the arrow. So this is going to be m total. And I added both masses because the question is specifically states um, that um, the target sticks, um, the arrow sticks to the target, so the masses are added. Um, then we have a spring force. Um, so since um, our um, initial velocity is in that direction there, um, we are going to have a spring force that is opposite to the displacement because um, a compression leads to a, a, a force opposite to the direction of compression. Um, so um, the compression for the compression of the spring leads to Fs towards the right. Okay, and again, when we do a sum of forces, this will equal to the mass times the acceleration. Okay, um, so uh, again, the block will have an acceleration. Um, these are all the forces. There's no friction, there's nothing else, so there's only one force acting on this block. Okay, um, so let's do a sum of forces. So this is, this is a 1D problem, so the x direction is positive in that direction. Um, so a sum of forces in the x direction equals to mAx. Um, and in this case, we're going to call it x A because there is no other acceleration. Um, there's no y acceleration. It's 1D. Okay. So um, we can now um, plug in um, the force of the spring. So we have um, Fs equals to mAx, okay, which is equal to Fs F, sorry. Fs is equal to uh, ma, and this is m total. Okay, um, and we can actually plug in what Fs is. So Fs is equal to um, kx. Okay, um, because this is just the spring constant times the displacement. Um, and um, we end up with the following equation, or actually negative kx. So we end up with uh, negative kx is equal to m a total, or m total a. And if we rearrange, we get the following um, differential equation, uh, m total a plus kx is equal to zero. And this is a differential equation because a is just the, der the second derivative of x with respect to time. Um, so this equation becomes um, m total uh, x double dot plus kx is equal to zero. And this is a differential equation Then we can solve. Um, so what we do to solve this differential equation is we divide everything by m to have this term have a 1 in front, not an m total. Um, and so when we rearrange, we get the following uh, x double dot um, plus k over m total x is equal to 0. And we know that this equation has a solution of the form um, x is equal to a sine omega nt plus b 
cos omega n t, where this term here is equal to omega n, okay? Um, all right, omega n squared, actually. Um, so we can solve this, um, and um, we can plug in this omega n squared into here and into here, um, but we still don't know the coefficients a and b, and those are determined by the initial conditions. Okay, so the initial conditions um, are the following. Uh, x of 0, this is of time equals to 0, is going to be equal to 0 meters, and x dot of time equals to 0 is equal to uh, v naught, which is equal to um, our, the given um, 5 meters per second. Okay, um, so this is how we determine these coefficients a and b. Okay, uh, so let's uh, plug this term, uh, let's plug in t equals to 0 into this equation, and we can see that um, the first term cancels out because sine of 0 is 0. Cos of 0 is 1. Okay, so we have x equals to b, time equals to 0. Um, so that will, will mean that b has to be 0 because everything has to be equal to 0. Okay, so x of 0 is equal to uh, a times 0 plus b times 1, which is equal to b. And since this has to be equal to 0, therefore b is equal to 0. Okay, um, so that is the first um, simplification. Then we have um, the second initial condition, so this is 1. We have a number 2, um, and this is x dot of 0 is equal to 5. Okay, now let's find x dot. Uh, so x dot is just the derivative with respect to time of this equation over here. Um, so if we take the derivative of the first term, we get uh, a omega n cos omega n t. Um, and this omega n comes out due to the chain rule. Uh, and then we have, we do the same to the second term, but instead of a sine, we have a cosine. So we get uh, b omega n uh, times sine omega n t. And sorry, this should be a negative because the derivative of cosine is negative sine. Okay, but we can already scrap this out because um, b is zero. So that term is already canceled. So we have that uh, v naught is equal to um, a omega n times one because cosine of zero is one and we've plugged in t equals to zero. So this means that a is equal to v naught over omega n, okay? Is equal to five meters per second over omega n. Okay, so now we have both coefficients um, and we get the following equation, x of t is equal to, um, and we just have that first term, a sine omega n t, um, where a is v naught over omega n. v naught over omega n, uh, times sine of omega n t, where omega n is equal to the square root of k over m total. Okay, um, and we can actually calculate what this value is uh, based on the given parameters. Um, so k being um, 50 newtons per meter and the total mass being six kilograms um, because we have five kilograms plus one. Um, so that will be equal to um, 50 newtons per meter over uh, six kilograms is equal to 2.887 uh, radians per second. Okay, and um, this will, um, we can plug this directly into here, 
and um, we will get um, we can solve for anything in term any x position in terms of time. Now, first we're asked to find the max amplitude. So the max amplitude is uh, the max the maximum location at which um, uh, this equation is equal to. So in this case, we can see that sine here oscillates between negative 1 and 1. So the maximum for this portion of the equation is just 1. Okay, And this is a constant, so the maximum is just this constant times 1. So it's essentially v naught over omega n. Okay, so um, max a is equal to v naught over omega n. Okay, and we can actually plug in these values. So v naught is 5 meters per second, and um, omega n is 2.887 uh, radians per second. Um, and we get that the max amplitude is 1.73 meters. Okay, so this is the first part of the solution. And then we can solve for um, a specific amplitude at a given time, which is 10 seconds. Okay, so at t equals to 10 seconds, uh, x is going to be equal to p naught over omega n and sine of omega n times 10 seconds. Okay. And um, this is going to be equal to, again, 5 meters per second divided by 2.887 radians per second times sine of 2.887 radians per second times 10 seconds. And x of t equals to 10 seconds, it's going to be equal to negative 1.44 meters. And this is um, the second part of the solution um, where um, we found the amplitude at 